Hey guys, Dom here, and today I've made a barbarian themed Nord aggro deck, which is all about damaging your own units and then having them massively buff and just slamming your opponent for a bunch of damage. So I got two games against some pretty decent players, and then my third game was against someone who I don't know, I've never seen someone draw that well. But it's a very exciting match, and I'll let you I'll let the games describe themselves. Okay, so we're up against someone who has been in Legend rank, which is cool, playing Telvani. Nice. So, you know, we'll be drawing our cards, what we got. Aella tier, they're a bit too high. East March Crusader, we can't get off his ability, so we'll mulligan him back in. And Rift Vane's kind of our only real opener with this hand. Wildfire Dragons just for combos, for inflicting damage to our own units. Same with like Flaming Breath. So we'll get down the Rift Fane, because he'll get 4 power and breakthrough. I will push Put him in the field lane, back. just have it be something they can openly challenge. Must I do everything myself? Tell Varney Cat's Ball. Okay, so Death we'll kind of smack enemy. that. We, we're destroying that just because we don't want our opponent to draw two cards off it. I'm happy to do the trade there. I'll scout ahead. Seems to be the turn of scouting. Well, I think if we get down our house call this turn, it means we might be able to break their rune next turn and draw a card. I mean, so will they, but we get to draw a card, and that's what matters to us. And we do have a very nice circle initiate in our hand now. We'll get that down. Get some beast form going. And smack face with our house call. And then we can get down the Northlander. Or oh, actually no, we can go for Crusader. Go for a Crusader, get some draw power. And you can kind of see all these cards which are inflicting damage to our own units that work really well with Fearless Northlander. I should have expected a sanctuary pet every once in a while. Very nice card. Okay, but we still have a four four power unit in each lane. We're not going to waste our Crusader's assault on the turn. If we just get down, if we just get down our Northlander. Actually, we don't really need to use anything else just yet. We do need to kind of reserve with our hand to make sure we don't just run out of cards. As an aggro deck, it's always important to have a big hand. Very unfortunate target for us to have spirit knifed, but it is very logical for them because, I mean, it's a big engine card for us. Nice try. Might as well go aggro on face. And they get a prophecy, which if it's a unit, it's not. I was gonna say we could uh, battlefield scrounger it, but instead we just get down protector of the innocent, and we might as well just get down battlefield, break another rune. Put them in a really kind of tough position where they do need to kind of sort of show something to fight back with or we can just win next turn. I mean having piercing javelin, crusaders assault, those two in hand is very, can. very dangerous for them right now. Yeah, that's uh, not what they want to see. Because I mean we can just get rid of that. We'll get down Circle Initiate just in case they get a Prophecy, because we haven't 100% won the game just yet. Okay, we have now. Right, well that's game one. We managed to outspeed Telvani and show him who's boss. Just shows how when this deck goes fast, it works really well. Okay, so we're up against an Assassin. Dabik. What a Chad name. Definitely a war hero. So we'll get rid of Ayla. Maybe. Yeah, we'll get rid of Sharpshooter as well, just because it's got a plot ability. Kind of slowing it down for us. But we draw into two prophecies, which is a bit sad. And they're saying hi, so we'll, we'll just say hi met, right back. Marsh friend. The Black Hand sees all. On Golem. Okay, uh, I guess. Got nothing really that. We'd want to deal with it just yet. See, we tried to drag Protector the Innocent over, completely forgetting that, you know, Feel we've the gone second, so don't have two Magicka. 
Now we do. So I'll probably we'll do that now. Like who fights back. I'll leave it at that. By the fires of oblivion. Daggerful mage. Okay, well, if we use flaming breath, we can clear the field. Just get a small soft as as reset. Fields not really playing out to my playing out to my style. And there's nothing really on it right now, so I'll get down AL as hunt mate, because hopefully we can break a rune next turn. Or the turn after. Of course I'm on your side. I do not fear. Okay. Actually, this is quite a good play here. So we use Sword of the Inferno. Because it'll get us enough to break a rune. Destroy the Fighter's Guild recruit. And now they're put in a position where they sort of need to destroy our big unit with their Mournhold guard. Which gives us a card. And obviously, you know, these forms we get to draw a card. And because that's wounded, we can also draw another card. So I have some big brain plays there that all work together. We got a few beast form cards in hand as well now, so we can break another rune next turn and sort of kind of increase the pressure on them. Obviously Lyris is nice, but I don't know if we'll be able to get her off. So let's attack. And yeah, we do want to get down these beast forms, or at least at least an Aeolus hunt, mate. Care to join me on the hunt? The circle initiates. I mean, we might as well get it down. It's just a bit stronger than our Rift Fane, even though it doesn't have breakthrough. I'm sure we can sort that stuff out though later. Garland. Uh, yep, yeah, they're gonna have to go for the trade because I guess they don't want to take too much to the face. Trying to get rid of units here. By the eight, they will meet their maker. And that's, a, that's the third Daggerful Mage. That's cool. I guess. Do we just go to get rid of one of them? Yeah, let's do that. If we get down a Crusader, we get to draw a card. And if we go for Rift Fane. Or oh, I'm kind of regretting not using that Scrounger on their other Daggerful Mage now, but. Can't go back in time. Back. We'll just get that down and hold on to the rest of our cards. Out I do not fear death. Okay, another fighter's guild recruit. Ah, that's gonna be a big pain if we can't deal with that quickly. I assume they just want to keep it alive for one turn. So obviously we're not gonna let them. We'll pop it with a piercing javelin, maybe. I'm wondering if there's something else I can do with like rapid shot and flaming breath. You know, we could just destroy it. Like that. Yeah, because what I could do is play down our Northlander, use flaming breath. Get an easy shot on face now. Although we could use Crusader's Assault, Daggerfall Mage, destroy that. Make me laugh. Draw a lot of cards, put them in a really bad situation, get some very nice draws. And yeah, we've actually <laughs> managed to bring Let's big brain in this then. game so far. My time is precious. Okay, well, um, ooh, that's, that's really good actually. So, what I'm thinking is maybe pop the ring use the pyromancer in the shadow lane and then use Ayla on face they will perish in flames blood running hot really putting them in a tense situation here worthless skaver get rid of that unit and boom So, you know, this is the kind of beast form deck I like to play. Perhaps we can help one another. My friend would like a word with them. Okay, that's clever of them. I mean, we still have a piercing javelin, so we can get past that just fine. Depends if this gives them another god. <laughs> Not really. I mean, we could have won it anyway, just by 
using Northlander, attack cross after that, and then have AOE attack base. Well, we've got to, got to wish some good game if they're going to talk to us. Always a pleasure. Okay, third and final game, Rognarook. I think they misspelled something, but oh well. Telvani again. Same old, same old. Right, well, I don't really want this, so we'll keep one East March Crusader. Get rid of the other two. And we do have a nice opening hand. So, this is looking quite good for us. Mulligan, or want to mulligan that second Crusader. I'm ready for I wish the first. Okay, that trap is a bit annoying, so we'll start to play in the shadow lane. I will push them back. The night mother will guide Okay, that's pretty good. That's a very nice play from them. Getting rid of our unit, kind of putting us in a bit more of a tense situation. I don't know what I really want to do here. Do I just put down a Crusader? Yeah, no I guess so. I know I don't get the draw power from it, but... I need to get something going. You can't beat me. Nice try. Well, we'll hit face. And I guess just end our turn there. You can't beat me. Who goes there? Midnight sweep. Okay. I, I guess we could use Crusader's assault on that one and deal a lot of damage. Although that means the field lane's gonna give us quite a battering beating even. I'm not going to end up being battered. I don't know what I'm talking about. So I guess next turn we can sort of put a bit of a defence in the field lane. Unfortunately not getting any of our prophecies and sadly losing Ayla. I mean, I could actually play Crusader and... Ooh, what do I go with? Do I go with Sharpshooter? Get rid of the um, Deepwood Trapper. Stop them from shacking my units. Slow them down a bit. Or stop up, stop them from slowing us down, I guess. Make them try and really fight back against us. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate for us. You can't beat me. And piercing twilight. Okay. That's really unfortunate for us because we just lost a very key card in our deck. They've done some good play so far, definitely. I'm thinking if we use Dalva Shock Archer, try and um, fight back. And then I guess protect with the innocent, stop them from hitting face as much. We'll see how they like someone who fights back. We're kind of on our back foot here, which is a bit annoying, especially for an aggro deck. Or attempting to be aggro deck. You can't beat me. I will not be on the road. Abnathon. It's really annoying. They're controlling our hand very well. Okay, um, we we'll get rid of that Death Priest so we're only focusing on one aisle. Fighters Guild Hall, this could be very useful for us. And we'll get down a mummy just as we can. I mean, in a way, it's kind of good that Ayla got Death Priest. Just as a big, big boss. And that's very bad for us. Which is unfortunate to see. So, um, yeah, I guess if we just try and get a few units down, summon our Mayor Mistake on player as well. You know, actually, I'm going to hold back on the mummy and go with Circle Initiate instead, I think. And my reasoning because is actually quite big brain. So, let's be real, with a shriveled mummy, they could just ignore it and go for face. No real issue. But with Circle Initiate, if I hit face and break a rune, that's a much bigger threat for them to deal with. So they're going to want to get rid of it. So they're more likely to attack it, as they just did. Shall we put in the 
Okay, of course, that would just be how it goes off. Okay, um... You to disrespect a Tharn. You can't beat me. Bit annoying here. What's going on? And of course, unit gets bloody suppressed. Very, very unfortunate for us. Now, thankfully, the Sword of the Flame doesn't count as an action, so we can still hit Naga Live with it. We just need to get it in and, you know, make sure that we're definitely doing the best things here for us. Getting rid of as many units as possible. Hence the reason we're kind of doing these big brain plays here. Everything's going slowly. And they've just left with a deep wood shackler. Might as well Crusader draw another card. Something else that we can kind of react with. You can't beat me. Oh my that's that's very annoying for us. Okay. Um I guess that's just annoying so I've got more magicka to work with. And slowing us down. I mean, that's just really good for them, let's be real. And finally, they're holding back the last card. Okay, well... I mean, we're going to have to just surely just get rid of their stuff and sort of slow them down, right? Piercing Javelin, use Mace of Encumbrance, shackle that. And then I guess... We'll just summon our Northlander to get ready to do a mega combo with the Fighters Guild Hall and can probably just one shot him if we get that off actually. Okay. And that is very, very good for them. Crazy. Especially for a singleton. For them to draw like that, that is mad. Okay, I guess if we get down Ayala and Lyris, they've got like two cards in hand. What are the odds that they're going to be able to deal with both of them? Especially after they just did that last crazy combo. Okay, that's one card dealt with. Extra finning. Journey to Sovereign God, so that deck's a lot thicker now. I have the trail. But just means corner club gamble can't really Well it's not much of an issue because I... it didn't gamble, did it? I might have missed it. I looked away for like two seconds. Right, if we get on another fighter skill pool, next time we can do a big, big swing with Northlander and take this. I'll take the bad guy. We'll rebuild Skyrim into the land she once was. Right, hopefully they don't like shackle our units or slow us down. And they shackle an entire lane. How? How can a singleton get this lucky? I'm sorry, but this is actually starting to frustrate me. The black hand sees all. You bet on the wrong side. Right. Okay, actually, I've got an idea. If we ring of imaginary might or Ulfric's house call. Use Flaming Breath, and then use Stormcloak's Camp. We should just be able to do this, I think, if I've done the maths right. Wait, yeah, that's, that's enough. That'll do it. Exactly enough. Okay, right. We just need to hope that they don't get a prophecy we've got. Okay, I think we've got this. Okay. Just need to wait. Okay, as long as it's not lightning, it's lightning bolt. Ah, <sighs> what a... Get a lottery ticket, man. You've just... That luck. Cool. Right, I'm done. <laughs>